Good afternoon. Specialist teams from Kent Police have just completed a careful and painstaking process this lunchtime to remove two climate activists who had glued their hands to the top of a tanker blocking access to the port of Dover. Earlier, 17 members of the Insulate Britain protest group were arrested after they caused gridlock in the town and surrounding roads. Well, our reporter Charlie Rose is there for us now. Charlie, a huge day of disruption for drivers. Lucy, it's been absolute chaos here in Dover today, but in the past few minutes, this A20 main route into Dover has now reopened because police have removed the two protesters who glued their hands to the top of a tanker, uh, which was a few moments ago just behind me. They've removed those protesters and taken them away in two police vans. Uh, now, local people have told me they've been pretty upset about all the disruption today, including the local uh, police and crime commissioner, Matthew Scott, who says, quite frankly, enough is enough. I want emergency legislation to be brought in to make sure that the injunction that the government sought for the M25 uh, can be made permanent so that we can protect our critical infrastructure, such as our ports and the hospitals. The police have powers of arrest, but I think we need to make sure that these injunctions are a more permanent thing. Now, it has been gridlock here in Dover today. All the main routes, the A20, the A259, uh, the A256, I should say, uh, and the A2 have all been blocked. Interstate Britain say that it's the only way uh, they can get their message across, but they are sorry for the chaos they've caused. This is not a popularity contest. We don't have time for that. We are driven by the science. We are driven by being absolutely terrified of what is coming down the line. So you know, I'm very sorry for the people who are caught up in this minor short-term disruption, but it is to stop a major catastrophe. Well, I did speak to one of the Insulate Britain protesters who was on the tanker uh, as he was taken into a police van. I asked him whether he's prepared to go to prison. He said yes. Uh, I dare say it's not the last we've seen uh, from them, Lucy. All right, Charlie, thank you.